us again. Cassie and Mommy. Daddy. Yes, Cassie and Mommy. So for today's vlog, I am going to do an unboxing and setup of this Mauno sound card. But it says in here, it's a Mauno Caster Light. And the product is like AU AM 200. It's a portable podcast console. And along with that, I bought a monitorable USB condenser microphone set. It's an AUPM422 professional microphone. It's also a Mauno brand. So let's see first what's in the box. I have my assistant here, Cassie, say hi, to do the unboxing. Well, we're gonna do, we're, we're gonna unbox the microphone first. So let's do it. So I have my assistant here to do the unboxing. So I have here the microphone foam, then a USB connector. I think it's a, I'm not sure. I think it's a female, male to female or male, whatever. It's a connector. And then yeah. user manual. Yeah. Pop filter. Yay. Yeah. yeah. I like how they packed it because it's actually really like you see the foams and everything, so it's safe. The metal bracket. Microphone holder. The cable for the microphone, the metal uh, holder for the table, and of course our microphone. So that was like inside the package of the microphone. The P A U P M four two two. Let's open the sound card. The Mauno Casper light. When you open it, see the manual, user manual. Like I said, I like how they really wrap it because you could see it's securely back inside. Has like phones. And our sound card. Oh, pretty cool. It looks really good. It looks sophisticated. I had a review for the B9X Pro before and I, I really like this one doesn't really look cheap <laughs> and uh, it has an audio cable there and USB cable okay so I'm gonna set it up so the original plan is to use the Mauno microphone along with the Mauno, Mauno caster sound card but unfortunately the microphone itself is using a, a usb connection and the the female otg 3.5 audio converter that comes with it is not working so i could not use that and if i try to use it with my computer my computer only have one usb port so i need like two to connect the microphone and the other one for the sound card so i have a backup here this microphone is a K20 from my other sound card. So I'm just gonna use it to test the sound effects and the other things about this sound card. And I'm using a converter for an iPhone and another one for Type-C. Let's start it. So to test the sound card, I will be using a, a one mobile connection so i have pod1 output right here and i will have an input music i will be using another device for that and i have a headset and then the mic i will just put it here so let's test it and fortunately the backup one for using the k20 microphone did not work somehow this microphone just it's not compatible with this particular Mauno sound card, uh, AUAM200. So 
it's giving a screeching sound and it's really it's kind of disturbing though it hurts my ear but i have another solution to it since i have this microphone it's a siren microphone which i normally use for my blogging so i figure it's using a 3.5 millimeter jack audio jack so it should be good in testing the sound effects and other feature of this mauno au am 200 you know sound card so let's begin i'm just going to hook up my phone i need an adapter for my iphone to have the output and for our background music, if I'm going to put a back background music, I'm just going to put, I need this adop adapter. It's a type C adapter. Let's begin. So the microphone seemed to be working and I think it's working good. Even uh, it's not really a microphone meant for, for the sound card, but it does a job. So we're going to try the sound effect of this uh, Mauno Caster Lite sound card. So it has eight default sound effects, which are opening, applause, gunshot, laughter, booing, awkward, flapping, and cheering. But on the bottom of those eight defaults, there are four which you could customize. So you could upload a sound effect according to your liking. So let's try it. Give it a shot. So right now, that th these buttons are the eight default one and this four, as I've said earlier, you could upload or customize a sound effect or sound effects according to your liking. But let's try this. Can you feel it? Applause. Gunshot. Laughter. <laughs> Moving. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Awkward is a crow, a bird. That's weird. Laughing. Ooh. And cheering. <laughs> so I mentioned, guys, that the four buttons right here you could customize the sound effect and to upload a video or record one we will just long press this and input music so we're gonna play some music from our input music and then hold hold it until the recording is done then release it then it would upload it so i'll show it to you so let's try if what we recorded a while ago is actually in store in the one of the buttons in here and I recorded in this area. As you see, it worked. So it recorded it. When you're going to record it, you just have to press and hold it play the music or whatever it is you're trying to record and when you're done just release it so remove the recording you just have to press and hold it again until you hear some kind of dip that's it and you see the blinking and now it's deleted see it's um so uh i'm done showing you the eight defaults plus putting a customized recording in here now we're going to test the left side of it which it has the effect the pitch the noise side chain look back and music only obviously the pitch it has four different sound it has a male female kid and robotic sound and we'll try it test my test one two three this is the female sound Test my test. One, two, three. This is the male sound. Test my test. One, two, three. This is the baby sound. Test my test. One, two, three. This is the robot sound. 
So now I put it back to the effect. I'm using the pro when I press it again. So this is the pop, how the pop sound for the MC. It does change the the, the voice effect though, you know, from from stronger to like much more firmer kind of uh, voice. So this is the original without nothing, just my original or normal voice. But I like to put it in the pro. It, you know, gives it a little bit of <laughs> good sound to it. So the side chain is like when you are actually playing some music, like if I do an opening, when I press the side chain, the background music that I'm playing won't overpower my voice. So let's try it. So I'm going to press opening, then press the side chain on. It does like, you know, like stop it right away. So even if I do this, hi, even the, the background music is still going, you could still hear my voice louder than the background music. So that's the purpose of side chain. Look back only is look back is obviously like I think to jump back to like your recording the noise obviously is to minimize the unnecessary noise around around or in our surrounding so our recording will be good so this so as you can see guys this monocaster has like two big buttons in here one is for music and one is for microphone and four little knobs in here to compute to control your this one is for the recording i think this is also for you know for the mic so there's like that and then as you see in here it will show you the battery capacity right now i'm on the like you know just one level and it has a bluetooth function so you could connect this uh, sound card to your phone and use it as a speaker headset microphone or other it depends on you so if you connect it through bluetooth you could i think you could use the phone as your music so no need to connect the cable to the actual sound card and then here's your echo you could play with that here's the monitor and that's it it actually have electron i think when you're recording for some kind of like instrument or music and you want to play with the um, like, you know, guitar or other musical instrument, you could press this. And it will There's a major. So it would match according to your need. So yeah, guys, I think this sound card is pretty good. Uh, the, 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 the voice, like when you are recording, it's much more firmer compared to the B9X Pro, I like it better. Though when it comes to connecting microphone, you might have some kind of trouble depending on the microphone that you're using to it because obviously if you just really use like random microphone, it won't work because it's just like really giving it like a screeching sound. Like it has something to do with like the signal or the kind of jock you're using. So you have to make sure that it is compatible but overall, I think it's better. I mean, you could also, the fact that you could record like your own sound effect. So you could customize it, you could always change it. So to me, that's a plus. That's it for our today's vlog. Uh, let us know what you think and I hope it does help with the setup and testing of the Mauno Caster sound card and we're gonna sign up for today bye bye come on assistant say bye 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 where's the kiss where's the kiss what about the kisses there you go bye